We're in Nags Head, North Carolina, and here is the uh, entrance to a beach access. And uh, Hurricane Irene just came through. There's another one off the coast, and uh, today is a, a rip current warning day. And uh, it, it kills people. There's no other way to say it. Um, and it, it's very preventable. But if you look at this picture, it basically says uh, they're often mistaken as undertows, but they're powerful currents pulling experienced swimmers away from the shore. That's the key word, experienced swimmers. Normally what happens is these swimmers will panic and drown. What happens is the current is formed when water rushes out of a narrow path. This happens where, the, where there's a break in the sh uh, shore sandbar or the current is diverted by a groin, jetty, or another barrier. These ripped currents can extend as much as a thousand feet offshore. That's a long way away. Uh, they can be as, as big as a hundred feet in width and travel up to three miles an hour. Some last for hours, some are permanent. Rip currents are more prevalent uh, after storms. But if you look at it, this is what it looks like. If you notice though, it stops. It doesn't take you all the way out to China. You'll also notice, that here's what it looks like from a jetty. Um, and here's what it looks like from a drop-off. But this is how you get out of it. You swim parallel to the shore and um, you'll live. If you try to swim against the current, uh, you die. Basically what happens is people get exhausted and they die. So um, I made this video to hopefully save somebody's life. I've got another video that I'm going to show you again. Just swim parallel to the shore and you won't get pulled out.